Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas, where we're going to be doing a bit of a different video. So I've done a video like this before for my Deep Rock Galactic series, but this is going to be for the Fallout series, and we're going to be trying to use AI to give us some sort of AI art based on the descriptions of the things in Fallout New Vegas. I would like to see what the heck we can actually get out of these. I don't want to give it specific names, because the AI can probably actually find a Rad Roach, since Fallout is one of the more notable games and I think Radroach will pop up immediately from it. So I'm going to try to keep these as vague as possible with it just seeing what it actually makes from that. So I've got a giant cockroach that has been enhanced by radiation in a post-apocalyptic world that's about the same size as a small dog. I think that should be enough for it. Let's see what we get. This is actually pretty close. I, I imagine just because I put post-apocalyptic, it could kind of grab some stuff from Fallout. Because that's actually... I mean, I said it's the same size as a small dog. Uh, apparently that guy is much smaller than a, than a dog. Although there is a bunch more rad roaches around him. Then we've got... That's just straight up dog meat. <laughs> with a giant cockroach that I guess is following him with a humongous suitcase. Yeah, this one still seems a bit big. I have no idea what the heck that thing is in the background. And then there's... Other bugs just on the ground? Maybe? This one I would say is a success. This one's actually pretty good. Alright, next up we're going to try Fire Gecko. I wanted to try that one because I think it would be a bit different and I didn't want to have just the gecko be something standard. Let's see what we can do with that. A large fire gecko that can breathe fire and run on two legs. It's the color blue and it has black stripes on it as well as spikes on its back. That should be enough information for it. We'll, we'll kind of see. I don't know if Fire Gecko would be enough information, if even if I said it's from Fallout, for it to actually get this one, since the Fire Gecko is only in Fallout New Vegas. Uh, at least that I can remember. Maybe there were some in two? I don't recall. Ooh! Okay, these actually look pretty cool. <laughs> that one's pretty awesome. He's got a few too many uh, fingers. Also, geckos don't really have claws, although I guess... Now they don't have claws in New Vegas either, do they? It does look pretty cool though, I like this. This one's also pretty good. <laughs> that one looks really cool. I really like the look of that. And that one's also really good. Alright, this isn't exactly like the fire geckos from New Vegas, but man, they are all really, really cool. Like, these things look awesome. Unfortunately, none of them are actually running on two legs. I specifically stated that, but maybe you just got too many pictures of actual geckos, and geckos don't run on two legs. <laughs> At least none of them that I'm aware of do, so I'm assuming maybe the AI picked that up and then just didn't do it. So, so far we're two for two. These are actually pretty good. Alright, up next is going to be the Cazador, a large flying bug that is a mutated tarantula hawk that has a dark body and has orange wings. Let's see what that gives us. The uh, tarantula hawks, I've actually seen in real life. They're pretty cool looking, although I've never really wanted to get all that close to them because I know they can sting and apparently it's extremely painful. But uh, they do actually at least appear where I live, although I technically do live very close to where like Fallout New Vegas would take place. So let's see, this one, that does look, a, that, that does actually look pretty much like a Cazador. That one, uh, I don't know, the, the nose is kind of weird for it. That seems a little bit too... That doesn't seem quite the same, although the wings are really good on it. That one also looks like a tarantula hawk. Yeah, that one does too. Okay, maybe it's because I specifically stated tarantula hawk and then it just scaled it up. I think that one's probably the closest to it. But all of them are fairly close to one another. Very, very creepy. It actually does bugs pretty well, although... To be fair, a lot of these uh, AIs d tend to do, like bugs and body horror particularly well. A large mechanical scorpion that is colored red, yellow, and blue. I think that's all the colors of the Robo Scorpion. I could be wrong. I might be missing one there. That can shoot lasers out of its stinging tail and has clamp-like pincers. Maybe... Let's see how close it can actually get with this. Because if it just does like a big metal scorpion, I don't think that would be quite the same since they do look like big metal scorpions, but they clearly have like the clamp pincers and the, the laser shooting tail. So I, I'm wondering if any of these are actually going to get that close to what a Robo Scorpion looks like. I don't know if any of these really are exactly a, I mean, that's definitely a Robo Scorpion. It looks pretty terrifying, but it's not quite the same thing. Same goes with that one. It's not shooting laser. It, it seems like the lasers got kind of confused because this just seems like a random laser. It doesn't look like it's coming from anywhere. 
If it was coming out of here and bigger, this this one might work. This one is just coming out of like its face, which is okay, but it, it's not quite the same. That one just looks like it straight up has like a mini gun on here. <laughs> and then it's still firing out three lasers at a time. Definitely still looks like a, a mech scorpion. And so does this one. I think this is the first one that I would say, yeah, I didn't really get it. These are pretty cool designs, but I don't think it actually got like a robo scorpion. At least how they look in New Vegas. Like maybe if you took different parts of them, it could kind of work. Like take this tail, put lasers on it, like cut this section off and maybe these, and then maybe change the body to like one of these ones. Maybe probably that one. That one looks the closest to it body wise. Yeah, maybe just do that. I think that might work a little bit better than these other ones. I don't even know where this is. It looks like it just took like a photo from, I, I can't even tell if this is like a shipyard or what it is. It looks like a shipyard back here. A robot on treads that has a 1950s B-movie vibe and has a human brain floating in a jar that is controlling the robot. Let's see if this works. This might actually like grab three or four different things. We'll see how it actually functions though. I don't know if it's gonna realize treads actually mean like tractor treads or like a tank tread or something. Maybe it'll take that to mean something else. <laughs> I think it's gonna take that to mean something else. <laughs> Um, I mean, I kind of get the concept from this one, but that's not quite right. That That is a 1950s robot, definitely 1950s picture, but it just has a guy holding a brain in a jar. I guess he's missing his legs too. I don't know where this is attached. This looks like it's two separate images that have just been... Actually, it looks like much more than that, but... Okay, this one looks a little bit closer. This one at least has the basic idea of what a robo-brain would be like. The, the robot, I mean, this is just like a small scaled one. Like this is like if you if you got the crappy version of a, uh, a robo brain and you got stuck with the Roomba bot or something and not the full sized one. But this one at least has the right idea. So <laughs> the jars are kind of funny too because it actually picked like a jar. And <laughs> what the heck is it attached to? What are those things? The robot looks okay, but the brain in the jar, it's supposed to be attached to the robot. This looks like it's separate and it's just psychically, or I guess not psychically, but uh, electrically controlling the robot. This one got like half points, I would say, because this one is very, very close. It's just a much tinier version of it, or that's a massive brain. A creature that is a mix between a coyote and a rattlesnake. It has the rattlesnake's tail and fangs, but the body of the coyote and stalks its prey at night. Let's see if that's enough of a description for it to get a Night Stalker. Hopefully it doesn't just pull up a Night Stalker and just give us that directly. <laughs> Wait, what? Unsaved image detected. <laughs> Sometimes the AI can get a little bit weird. Sometimes the same prompt works again if you just put it in there. Sometimes you have to cut out certain words in here. Like I was trying to do this just for fun with some of the Hunt Showdown characters and just taking their actual descriptions and throwing it in here. And some words it just like, it didn't want to re- Oh. <laughs> this looks horrifying. Alright, so I kind of like this part. I'm not so sure about this other snake part. It doesn't have a, a rattler on its tail. That's kind of creepy. This one, this one honestly looks pretty cool. I kind of like the look of this one. Even though it's not at all a, a Night Stalker, it still looks pretty terrifying. It's like a, a coyote mixed with like a Hydra, sort of. And <laughs> this one looks pretty cool too. This is a very cool idea for a Night Stalker. Let's actually run this one through again because I actually want to see more images like this. I kind of like this one too. I don't know why there's like another part of a snake tail down here. This one looks actually really good. That one's pretty cool looking. I think I like that one the best. I love the tiger stripes on it with the spines on it. That looks so cool. And it going from like the fur to the scales. This one looks awesome. This one just looks like it's nightmare fuel. <laughs> why is it like that? I didn't see this. I mean, why is it? It has like ribs exposed, but way too many ribs. And then it looks like it also has more snakes inside of it. Oh, that's terrifying. This is terrifying up here too. The snake is terrifying. Why does the snake have like three tongues? And like just rows and rows of sharp teeth and four eyes. Yeah, this is Nightmare Fuel. <laughs> that one's just scary. Speaking of Nightmare Fuel, let's go over our last one, which is going to be a Deathclaw. Now, I can't actually just put in the name Deathclaw because the AI does know what Deathclaws are. 
So that just, it won't really work. Let's describe it as a giant reptile-like creature with big horns, claws, can move super fast, all that fun stuff. No, right, let's try this. A very large reptile creature in a post-apocalyptic world that has very large horns on its face and has giant claws that can move very fast and embodies the word death. This is probably the closest I can, well, maybe it's not the closest I can get, but very close to the word death claw and see what it gives me. Maybe we'll just toss in the word Deathclaw and see what it actually gives me. I'm sure it'll give me something pretty good. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely... This screams Deathclaw. I kind of like the ram horns on it. That looks pretty cool. The claws are really cool. This looks pretty awesome. This one looks really good. That just straight up looks like a Deathclaw. Yeah, no complaints about that one. That is awesome. That one looks like it's a demon just straight out of Doom. <laughs> it would be horrifying to see in Fallout. And that, yeah, that's just another straight up death claw. That one's probably the coolest looking. I actually really like that. I love that there's people up on this bridge taking pictures of it, it looks like. These ones look like they could even be better. This one looks awesome. It's like a death claw, but wearing armor? That's really cool. That's actually really cool looking. I love the way the horns look, too. That's another really cool looking death claw. I don't know kind of what's going on with its back. I don't know if those are extra parts to it or, or what, because its tail is over here. But yeah, that looks awesome. <laughs> that looks like a chonky deathclaw, but I like him. <laughs> and yeah, that just, that looks awesome as well. That looks arguably one of the coolest ones. I love the color to it. The colors look great. And the horns look amazing. Deathclaw, total win. Uh, these just look more and more cool as it goes on. Let's just put in Deathclaw. Just see what we get. Just Deathclaw, nothing else. I'm sure it can figure out what Deathclaw is. Huh, how is it, how is it when it's just Deathclaw? It doesn't look like a death claw. I mean, these these kind of look death claw like. That one actually looks pretty cool, but these look more just like dinosaurs, or maybe even demons from like Doom in a certain way. Like this one kind of does. How is it that that looks less like a death claw when I actually say death claw than like the? The description of one. The other ones look way better than these, I think. At least for a Deathclaw. These still look really cool, but they don't quite look like a Deathclaw like some of these other ones where, like, this looks amazing. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's more descript and maybe it's only picking up on Deathclaws here. And it's like, okay, we need horns, we need claws, we need it to be standing on, like, two legs because that's what Deathclaws usually do. Or, yeah, I guess they are on four claws. But yeah, like, Deathclaw is definitely a standout. The the fire geckos were amazing. I'm really surprised how well they came out. Night stalkers were surprisingly good, even though they didn't really look like night stalkers. Some of them just looked like nightmare fuel and looked pretty decent. Cazadors were kind of boring, but they absolutely look like Cazadors, so I would say that's a win. Uh, the only ones that this didn't really get were like the robots. The robots were a little bit strange, where it's like the Robo Brain was almost there, at least on that one that we seen. And then the Robo Scorpions didn't quite look like Robo Scorpions. Uh, so many of these look really awesome. If you guys want to go off and play with this AI, go for it. You can just type in being AI and you should be able to get here, no problem. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye bye, everybody.